Hello students, let us do the new experiment. New experiment title is Configure Initial Switch Setting. So here in the window you can see the three files. You can get this file from the reference link given in the video. Now this is called as a practice file. Now click on this file. It will open these three window. This window, the first window is user profile. So you can set your user profile, write your name. Write email id and write other additional information. You can write any required information over here. Then click on OK. So your user profile is set. Now this window is all about the instruction and this window is all about the practical performance. So now let us split the window like here I will do the experiment and here I will read the instruction. So I need to complete the five part. To complete this experiment, this five part need to be completed. The first part is all about the configuration in switch one. So you can see that up to four part, we will do configuration in switch one. And fifth part is about the configuration in switch two. So all work, whatever you are doing in switch one, the same work you are doing to switch two. So uh, let us start one by one. So First part says me to click on the switch 1. So this is the switch 1. Here it will open the CLI window. You just, you just click on enter and you will be into the user mode. So now I need to go into the privilege mode. So to go into the privilege mode, I will write the command enable and you can see that now I am into the privilege mode. Now I ask to check the running configuration. So I will type the command so running configuration here in running configuration whatever the detail are already into the switch that you can observe you can remark over here so just click on enter and one by one you can check all the detail for example here you can see that the total interfaces available in this switch are fast ethernet are 0 to 24 port available and giga ethernet are 0 to 2 that means 2 giga ethernet port are available the other detail are here you can see that total vty line is start from 0 0 to 4 and again 5 to 15 so total 15 vty line is available so here so running configuration gives all the detail i will go with the second part in the second part i need to provide a basic switch configuration the first configuration is to provide the switch name. So I will change the switch name. For that I will type the command config terminal. Then the command is host name and the switch name. So I will give the switch name of S1 as per the manual. So host name S1 and then enter. So I can check that the switch name is changed from switch to S1. Now I will provide a password of security to the console line to provide a security to a console line I will go into the line mode so that is line console and zero then I will type the password the password as per the manual let me in so again type the login as per the requirement so login and then exit so you can see that your password for the console is set now let us check again type exit and here you can see that the switch is asking password to proceed further i cannot access anything without knowing the password so when i type the password let me in so as you can see that when i type the password the screen shows nothing so you need to type the password and just give the enter so you will be into the console or you can say user mode so first task is done now the next task is to provide the privilege mode password so privilege mode password that means when you type the enable you are entering into the privilege mode so i need to make it secure so again i will go to the config terminal and then i will type the command which is a enable password and the password as per the manual is c1 dollar c and 0 so this is the privilege mode password and then i will do the exit so again i will check the password so again i will type the exit so see 
first it is asking me about the console password so i will type the password let me in and then enter now you can see that i am into the user mode but as i try to type the enable and then i give the enter it again ask me the password so now this is called as a privilege mode security here i will type the password of c1 dollar c and 0 now i am into the privilege mode so this is how we can make secure console and privilege mode access now let us check this password are into the encrypted format or they are into the plain text format so i will type the command show running configuration here we know that show running configuration will store all over our temporary work whatever we do it store it so here they have stored that the host name is stored right so running configuration has stored our work whatever temporary work we are doing it will store it so here it has stored the switch name as a s1 it has stored the password see this password is in a plain text right so this is not a good thing this password must be encrypted otherwise anyone who is behind you they can check the password they can read the password and they can apply whenever you are not available now let me check the console password see the console password is also in the plain text so the console password and privilege password both are in a plain text we need to make it encrypted to make it encrypted there is a process and that we are going to learn so first of all we will make privilege password as a encrypted for that I need to go to the config mode then there is a little change I need to pass uh, write the secret so enable secret and then I will type the new password that password will overwrite onto the previous password so new password is its secret as per the menu ok that's it now I will type exit now I will check is that encrypted or not so again to check I will go into the running configuration here now you can see that this is our old password right see enable password all which was c1 s dollar c0 and this is our new password but this is encrypted this encrypted password is it's a secret but no one could read it because it has provided some encryption algorithm so this is how you can encrypt your privilege mode password now what about the console password see so console password is still in a plain text your privilege password is encrypted but your console password is in a plain text so what to do that i can make all password into the encrypted format so for that there is one command so now we will use that command and we will make all password into the encrypted format so that command is I will again go to the config terminal and then I will write the command which is a service password encryption by using this command all password will be encrypted let us check so again I will check by so running configuration here you can see that see that previous password is also encrypted the new password is already in the encryption and now let us check the console password just give the enter just go back yes here you can see that your console password is also encrypted so by typing the service password encryption command you can make all password into the encrypted format now one more setting is there that is to set the MOTD banner what do you mean by MOTD MOTD that means message of the day when someone open your switch or login into the switch they will see this message right for example let us set one banner so I will go to the config terminal and then I will set the banner MOTD that is message of the day and then between the quote I will type the message hey I am the third floor switch let us check that banner is there or not yes so we can see that that banner is there hey I am third floor switch so whenever someone try to log in they will be aware that what is this switch all about so you can set such kind of banner for a particular 
switch so we have configured all the basic setting now what to do to save this setting because this all work right now stored into the running configuration that means into the ram we need to store all this configuration into the nvram right then they will be stored into the startup configuration okay so now let us enter into the switch so first i will uh, type the password that is a console password now i will type the privilege password so i will type the enable and then privilege password so you can see that currently startup configuration is uh, nil that means there is nothing so let us first check the startup configuration so startup config c it is not present now we store this running configuration into the startup configuration so for that to store the configuration the command is copy running configuration to startup configuration as we give enter it will ask the file name we don't need to give the file name just give the enter it will build the configuration your work is done your configuration has been stored into the nvram now you can check your startup configuration which was previously nil so show the startup configuration and you can see that your all data of switch one all configuration of switch one has been stored so this is how you can uh, do a lots of basic configuration into the switch and uh, that's it your part 1 to 4 is over so now i will close this switch 1 command line interface and i will go to the switch 2 and here as per the manual instruction you need to configure switch 2 with all that command that you have done for switch 1 so uh, let us make it very quick so first of all i will give the switch name so i will go to the enable then uh, i will provide a config terminal and then i will write the switch name that is the host name and switch name given as per the manual is s2 so you can see that switch is changed now i will provide the console password so i will type the line console 0 and then i will provide the password which is a let me in as per the manual now i need to type the login for the console password so that password has been set now uh, let us check this password if you want to check the password again go to the running configuration you can see that that console password is set right so now i will provide the privilege password for that again i need to go to the config terminal and then i will provide the uh, password that password is uh, again uh, enable password and then c one dollar c n zero now that password is there but again that both password into the text format so first of all i will make a privilege password into the encrypted format and then i will make all the password into the encrypted format so to make it into the encrypted format the command is enable secret and then it's a secret then i will give the enter so my privilege mode password is encrypted now i will uh, set one banner so again the banner then motd and then into the comma i will set its second floor switch i can type any message so you can type any message that's it now i will make all password into the encrypted format for that the command is service password encryption just give the enter and you can see that so running configuration here your password are encrypted your your host name is there see uh, it's a second floor switch your banner has been set your console password is encrypted so most of the task has been done now i will copy this running configuration to startup configuration uh, that means i will store i will save my work so for that the command is copy running configuration to startup configuration the destination file build and that's it uh, you can check your uh, startup configuration so just type the startup config and you can see that all detail are stored so that's it your experiment is over you can just go into the check result 
uh, and you can check the assessment yes uh, we have done all the tasks correctly and uh, I have got the complete score so that's it thank you